everyone welcome back to my channel Emily Page XO if you want to know how to get from the left to the right then please just keep watching I already did my foundation and my eyebrows done my foundation with the fit me Maybelline matte poreless foundation this is one of my favorite foundations so we're just gonna start with the eyeshadow base. make sure all the eyeshadows stick and actually make some more pigmented I'm just going to dust this shade right here all over the lid. Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm going to take the famous Morphe 350 palette. We're just going to do transition shade with this shade, peachy shade right here using a big Sigma fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to take this Beloved shadow right here, it's like a champagne-y shade, just all over the lid. And we're just going to stop right here in the center. Dark burgundy brown color right here in the center. And we're just going to focus this on the outer half. The reason I'm using a pencil brush is I really just want this to be focused on this area. We're going to blend it all in together with a precise blending brush. But I've been really liking this technique, just taking a small brush and really just packing it on before blending it all over. Just to get this really precise and distinct, you know, the light into dark gradient on the lid. And we're going to lightly blend with a smaller blending brush. Really just focus it and dig in with your brush into that crease. I'm just going to take Makeup Geek Corrupt Black Eyeshadow. This is one of the best black eyeshadows I've ever used. And it's really just on the outer, outer corner. Yellowy shade beneath the brow. It actually cleans it up a little bit. And sharpens it. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Lash Curler. And just curl my lashes. Raise them up to Jesus. I'm going to just use some mascara. Got ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve, and it's just a black liner. I'm going to apply. Uh, Cocoa Lashes in Bella. We're going to darken up the crease a little bit more with this gray taupe shade. I'm going to use Fit Me Concealer in San Sable. I'm going to put that under the eye, on the bridge of the nose, forehead, I'm going to take some translucent powder and bake where I concealed. I'm 
going to warm up my skin using the Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to take a Real Techniques contour brush and use the middle shade called Shadow Play. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones. Dust it off. We're now going to take a fiber brush and Milani Bakes Blush in Luminoso. Swirl it in there and pop it onto the cheeks and bring it backwards. We're now going to take ColourPop Wisp Highlight, which is a beautiful champagne shade right here my Sigma tapered highlighting brush and pop that onto the cheekbones come through the highlight Going to carve out my nose a little bit using the same contour shade, but with a small blending brush. And you want to basically go on the sides and then make a little point right here. So you have a little button nose right here. We're going to use that same taupe shade and smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm just using a Sigma short shader. I'm going to first take ColourPop Platform Liquid Lipstick. It's just a light nude. On top, I'm going to use NYX Eclair, and this is part of their Butter Gloss. Stop. This is the finished look. I hope everybody enjoyed this video, learned a little bit, and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye, guys. Don't you pretty, it's okay to see the real.